During the Cold War in the 1950s and 60s, the Ballistic Missile Early Warning System was born. The Ballistic Missile Early Warning System was constructed in response to the threat of a potential intercontinental ballistic missile attack from the Soviet Union. At this time, this was the most massive technological advancement undertaken in history. One of the first stations to be built still stands with its massive satellite dish on one of Trinidad's peninsula. The Shagaramas Peninsula had been leased to the Americans by the British in 1941 to construct a naval base and it provided an excellent location for the prototype. The installation was finished in 1958 the Shagramas radar station operated until 1971. But as it had been built without warning the local authorities, the abandoned remains continue to be an important symbol of Trinidad and Tobago fight for sovereignty. All right, so let me give you a bit of history about this place. Between the 1950s and 60s, the Cold War was in full effect. Also, the Soviets had developed missiles that could reach the U.S. soil. So the U.S. needed to come up with an idea or a plan on how to detect these missiles before it could reach their mainland. That is where the Intercontinental Ballistic Missiles Radar or Early Warning System had come into play. You would want to know how did the US acquire the land to construct such a site? Well, back in the 1940s or 1941, the British had leased the US, the Shagaramas Peninsula, in order to construct a naval base. So the US already had the land. So being as how it had war around that time, the 1950s, they found that it was a good position to install one of these radar within the Western Hemisphere. Something fascinating to know is that the first intercontinental voice message was sent right here from Trinidad as an experiment. It was received in Floyd Air Force Base in New York. This was the first time in history that an intercontinental voice message was successfully passed and received. It was immensely important because it opened up the world to real-time communication leading to today's radio, telephone, cell phone, and internet.
Aí o centrifúgio, você leva o lavador. Not safe. On the old side of the first level. Didn't save at all. And no steps on the outside to go up to the top. Steps rotten out. Trust a walk on the outside of this because it could go crashing down. Look light up in the tower. It look like up in the tower here they used to sleep here. They probably manage things, maybe. Things are bad. These are supportive metal here, yeah, they're rotten out. One, one, and two, they're rotten out. So this floor. Could go down. Our next bed. You could, you could go further up, but I don't really trust. Right, so you could go further up. This step here right now, you could climb right here and go up to the top. All right, so this room is for the door 128, authorized person only. I want to believe this room is the um, communications room where most of the data comes in from the satellite. Where they receive all the data in these um, Lockers kind of look like them old telephone systems they used to have at the side of the road with all the colored wires in it. On the next side, I see one in this fall from the roof, it's on the ground. This is some kind of control, this Johnson system. Yeah. 
This is a flim room. So all of these here had to be like um, tapes, probably to record information. So all of these is like old tapes. This room is a vault. Somebody Right, so this room here is a vault. And somebody bust the vault. And that's how they was able to access all these tapes. And they play with it and they make a ball. A ball of unravel tape, and they probably had a real fun with the vault here. All right, so the vault had this big, this is concrete. All right, so the, the vault had this concrete door. Somebody was able to get this door open and they went in they was able to pass through this fancy gate we meet them um, friends yeah and inside here yeah, how So right here, I want to believe is where they get all these um, tapes. So back in the back in the times, they didn't want nobody to get access to these flims or tape or whatever they call it. They are different types. office area maybe but somebody real pull the tape and make it look like caution tape all over the place <laughs> door 118 have like have a TV inside here. This TV Westing. This TV is Westing House. I want to believe it still had this brand today. So you know, Westing House in the game. Westinghouse in the game a long time now. Well, they need nothing in the shelf in the cabinet for me. One stone. Alright, better go to the next location. Is very rich. Resident Evil. This room here I have a lot of books on the ground, even pictures, Papa.
half big twos. I could probably carry some of these. Might. Well, this one far, no Trinidad. So this area here is where the antenna would be set up somewhere in the bush here but they take that down before they take that down before they leave. On the ground here to have this huge concrete slab. This fall from on top there. You notice it are one up there, so I want to believe that this fall down from on top there. All right, so we're going to take a walk inside of the side of this building. This is the small building next to the, to the dish. Right. So in here more or less are like electrical panels. Or oh, some sort of electrical stuff. And then it comes out into a hallway. Have our room on this side. But we're going down this hallway here. Yeah? on this side and it goes all the way down here goes down here well down there seem like it um like it have a tunnel So it's not a tunnel. It's just a staircase to a wall. Probably had an entrance through here, but they block it with a wall. So you can't pass there. For some reason. This is looking like a steep climb. Didn't look, it didn't look that steep from the top but from the bottom yeah 
Wow. Alright, so when you're almost reach the top, you'll meet a road on your left. That road takes you to one of the first structure from this abandoned tracking station site. So if you don't take the left and you continue on till the top, you'll meet the tracking station satellite or dish, a very large dish, and you'll meet the other structures as well. But to the left, on the left hand side, when you almost reach the top, there's a structure up there. So we're going to check that structure out. Right? All right, so what is here to see? The buildings here are actually empty. They are actually dangerous. There are signs put up to prevent people from climbing on the structures. The structures is dangerous to climb. They are rusted. But it is amazing to see that these structures actually built here so many years ago and it's still standing strong, actually. Um, just some parts of it is actually decaying over the years because nobody maintaining it. The dish is something fascinating to see. It's actually is a huge dish. I did find some old photos, old photos of people from years, from many years ago. These photos was actually interesting to look at as well. To the back of the main building, they have a track that leads to a plane crash site. It'd be about a 45 minutes walk again to reach that um, plane crash. That's something fascinating to see as well on this journey. If you're feeling that adventurous, you could check that out. But um, a lot of people come to the Bamboo Cathedral for the take pictures, just the street alone. Where it have a lot of greenery like plants and the bamboos. The bamboos, how they fall across the road, it makes like this cathedral looking thingy. So yeah, it had the name Bamboo Cathedral. Uh, that's something fascinating. People come and take nice walks and things in the morning and evening. Um, as well as visit the tracking station to the top of the road. 